Yeah, you know, we uh, prisoners of hope, you know. We powerless. I mean, we can't come against Esau. Esau, the, the ha, ha, what's that, ha, harab. He the sword, you know, the most high. We we powerless, but we, of course, getting our power to be how about Shemel Shah, calling back onto him. That's where our power is. Our power is in our power, okay? How about Shemel Shah? All right, so you have it where the lowly and the afflicted, all right? This this is going the rest of it. This is going I believe off destitute of Christian values. That's bullshit. That's blue letter going off and stuff. But you know, obviously we use the tool. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that we ain't the the lack ain't lacking, but we are lowly and afflicted, being uh, humble. All right, and we afflict ourselves daily. All right. Yahweh Hashem Yahshai always, of course, he chastised them that are his and such. All right, so we always being corrected. Always being built up, broken down, and such. All right. Um, get the other scripture. I think it's Psalms 34. I'm not sticking. Is it? I think it is. Yeah. This is 15. Uh, yep. This is Psalm chapter 34, verse 15. It says, "The eyes of Yahweh are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry." Kind. Kind. Yeah, the the Most High is hearing our cry, and the elect men are crying to the Most High day and night. You know, through our prayers, you know, just through the afflictions that we're going through, catching His hell day in and day out. God. Yeah, they're upon the righteous. All right, our um, we are righteous, which is I believe Taza Doc Yum. Let me see. Let's go into it real quick. We'll find righteous Taza Da Taza Dayak Yum. Yep, so that means righteous. All right. You got, they got Ayanya. All right. Yahweh. Is, Ayan is the root being uh, the I. Or, or uh, I. Yeah. Yep. My eyes. Yahweh. Yahweh's eyes. Uh, Allah. Right. Uh, is that all? Yeah, so I, mean, I think that's unto. Ka, unto. The righteous. What? And then going on, it says, Wa, Aizan, which is ears, Yawa, by his ears. Um, He got here, uh, oh, 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 God. Yep. And then you got here, for they got cry is Sha, 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 but I, you know, I get the pronunciation better. Just be just break going down in the spirit, all right. So he's hearing and read. You go, uh, continue to read, and I think it's uh, verse six, seventeen. You can keep reading though. Kind. This is uh, Psalms thirty-four and sixteen. It says the face of Yahweh is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and Yahweh heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Right. And um, you know, I believe it. Uh, going into it with this uh. You have it where uh, against them that do evil and cut off their off their the remembrance of them in the earth. You have it where Esau eat them. You know, I don't know if you you know that scripture in Job about um he um uh he ain't gonna be no more. Let me see. I gotta find it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Job the fifth chapter. Uh, basically, like he gonna be like a bad dream or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know yeah, 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 yeah. We we gonna get it. Uh. Uh, we, we gonna get that. So the Lord gonna take out these damn devils. All right. It's gonna be uh wonderful. This is Job, chapter eighteen, verse seventeen. It says his remembrance shall perish from the earth, and he shall have no name in the street. It says he shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. Yeah, so uh, after the a thousand, you know, thousand years of hardcore slavery, you know that you know that Edomite is gonna be no more in exist in existence. He's gonna be exterminated. We're not gonna see him anymore. Yeah, which uh, go go to Obadiah real quick. Just prove that. Right. Yeah, we gonna prove all these things, you know, because a lot of you know we got a lot of Achim that's coming up. Of course, they li you know they be listening to all these other Hebrews like camps and they may go off and stuff. So we gotta clarify everything we speak. And you know we we prove all things as uh, Nabayayim or prophets of Yahweh Shem Yom Shai. Okay, this is uh, jo uh, Obadiah chapter one verse eighteen. It says, "And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, 
and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. Right. It's like, which you got, of course, um, you know, you have, of course, the, you know, some the house of Yahweh or uh, Joseph, that's referring to, of course, uh, going into the, the, nor the, the northern kingdom, all right? Which uh, we could precept even that. This is Numbers chapter 1. Verse 32, it says, Of the children of Joseph, namely of the children of Ephraim, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20, 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Right. You know, so Yahweh as referring to, of course, um, the northern kingdom. All right. Also, you know, you have an Ephraim, which is the head tribe of the northern kingdom. All right. You have the southern kingdom. All right. Which is uh, Judah. Benjamin and Levi. All right. So going on. Okay. I'm going to read it over. This is Obadiah chapter 1 verse 18. It says, In the house of Jacob shall be a fire, in the house of Joseph a flame, in the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. And right. there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh has spoken it. Mm -hmm. So you see it right there, man. You know, that 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 destruction. That, you know, it's going to come a day after that thousand years of hardcore slavery as the Ach, of course, went in. And two, all right, where we're going to get gather these Edomites up, put them in a pit and burn them up. All right, they're going to get utterly devoured by the ash or fire. All right, and this is going to be a pie because, you know, just looking at these Edomites day in, day out, it vexes our spirits. All right, just because all of the wickedness and the things they have done, and they've been obviously getting away with it all this time, they think that they ain't going to get no judgment. But Yahweh Shem Shai is going to bring forth that judgment. All right, which, uh, they're going to get that cup. They're going to drink of that cup. All right. Same cup we had to drink of. They're going to drink of that. But it's going to be rendered double onto them. All right. It's, this is uh, Baruch chapter 4 verse 25. It says, My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. It says, For thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. Right, so this even links back to that one scripture about uh, the Psalms 92. This is Psalms chapter 92 verse 11. It says, Mine eye also shall see my desire on my enemies, and my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. Right. Kind, yeah, the same way it said in Baruch, it told it told us to patiently wait for the, um. so I I'm, forget yeah. the exact wording. Yeah. Let me see, where's that? Baruch. Which that is a lot. Is yeah, this one? It says, "Yeah, it says to patiently wait, patiently wait the wrath that has come upon you. Suffer the wrath that has come upon us. Yeah, because we're gonna see the our desire. We're gonna see our desires upon our enemies. We're gonna see that that recompense, that payback upon our enemies through the destruction of of their of their uh their kingdoms in the up the uprising of our kingdom. Yep. You're gonna see the downfall of their rulership. You know their heaven. All right. You know we looking forward for what new heavens where in righteousness dwell." All right, and we gonna see that, okay? We gonna see the two thirds who is very wicked. All right, went over the deeds of the wicked. We gonna see all of that. All right. Um. Yeah. yeah. Like they say, if I could say something real quick, like they say in the world, they say revenge is a dish best served cold. So like the longer it takes for you to get that revenge, and then you finally get the revenge, the sweeter it is. Kind. Kind. That's right. You know. It's real sweet because you, you have to understand Yahweh Bashem Yahushai or yeah Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is a man of war, all right, and also Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, all right, is a great uh, the king of terrorists, all right. Also, um, you know you have it where, you know this the day uh this thing this day burns in the in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai's heart day in and day out, all right, that you know they want of course want to of course bring down this judgment, all right. You know, you definitely know Yahweh Shai wants this, but obviously it's on the Yahweh, his uh, his timetable. All right, it's only the Father knows when he's gonna bring forth this. All right, yeah. So you know, we we right here being the children of the Most High, suffering patiently. All right, which you know we have, of course got to endure seeing this double rule upon over us. We got to see, of course, all the heathen. All right, which are refuted as nothing. All right, rule over us and all of that. Okay, 
we got to endure going to these shite jobs and eating shite food and all that. Okay. And having these women which are defiled and are disloyal against us. They, they're supposed to be a pillar of rest. They're nothing but, of course, rotten, chaotic demons. Okay. These are the different things we got to suffer. But Yahweh Shem Shai is going to remember all of our prayers and, and is going to deliver and give us all the desires of our hearts. All right. We just got to endure and bear this cross that we, of course, are going to do, which is just a burden. All right. This is Luke chapter 18 verse 1 It says and he spake a parable unto them To this end that men always Ought always to pray And not to faint saying there was in a city A judge which feared not The most high neither regarded man And there was a widow in that city And she came unto him saying avenge me Of mine adversary it says And he would not for a while but afterward He said within himself Though I fear not the most high no regard Man yet because this widow Troubleth me I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. It says, And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust, unjust judge saith, And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? Con, yeah, and that's what that's what we're doing, man. Day in and day out, you know, we're crying unto the Most High, asking Him, you know, to give us that vengeance, to give us that recompense, you know, day in and day out, each each day through our prayers, through our, you know, through the videos that we make, through us going on the highways and hedges, preaching His gospel, you know, proclaiming the the the, the atrocities that have been committed upon us. Yeah, yeah, you know, this place, uh, you know, is is filthy and defiled. It's not our rest. So of course we gonna. You know, as it says in the scriptures, it says, surely oppression make a wise man mad. You know, so we going to keep, of course, buggering, <laughs> you know, bugging Yahweh by Shem Shai, which the prayer is give supplication. That means to beg anyway. You know, like, please, Baba Kajah, Baba Shai, Shemai, now will, you know, hear us, you know, Yahweh by Shem Shai, and come save us, all right? We want that to happen because, I mean, we can't take it here, you know, as you see, you see it where, uh, going to that word for faint, it says that we ought to pray and not faint. It's just very important. All right, you brothers can't be weary in these times right now. We at the end, like I said, the sifting process. It says to be utterly spiritless, to be wearied, wearied out, exhausted. Yeah, you know, burnt out and such. You know, quit. You know, to be spiritless. You know, Yahweh Shem Shai also get that revelations about. Uh, I think it's like either third chapter or second chapter about being lukewarm. All right. I'll read that. This is um Revelations chapter 3 verse 15. It says, I know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. It says, so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Uh, yeah, so the Lord, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, he wants you either, obviously, you either going to be cold or you're going to be hot. You're not going to be no lu lukewarm, all right? Yahweh Bashem Yashai don't want you to be spiritless. He wants you to be on fire as the elder apostle to heart always tells us, you know, which is this is all divinely inspired. What by Yahweh Bashem Yashai is what's written in the scriptures. And the men of the Lord only speak what Yahweh Bashem Yashai speaks, all right? So you don't be saying, you got these people saying, y'all, y'all following it, men behind men and all that. It's a righteous man, a righteous name to follow after good works and all that, you know? These are men of the Lord here, all right? What are we? What are you talking about? You know, these damn demons, you know? So, you know, it's telling you, you know, being, you had to be either cold or hot, you know? Be hot, all right? Be chum in its truth, or haya chum, all right? Which is chum means hot, like ham, all right? Or quar, you got quar is uh, cold in Hebrew. I've got a precept, a quad. Yeah, I got a quick precept on a brother um, saying basically follow. It's a it's a good thing to follow a righteous man. This is Psalms chapter 37, verse 37. It says, mark the perfect man and behold the upright for the end of that man is peace. Uh, God, so if you know that, the, you know, if you see a perfect man and you know what his end is going to be, why wouldn't you try to follow, you know, that that same example, that same step, the same way we follow Yahweh's steps. We follow great, you know, righteous men's step the same way they follow Yahweh Shai, we follow them. Mm -hmm. Con. Yeah, that's it. You know, Yahweh Shai had what? Disciples. Yeah, like, 
to say real quick. Like Paul said, be ye followers of me as I am a follower of Yahweh Shai. That's why we're followers of the apostles. The apostles of Great Millstone, the apostle Tahar, the apostle Gabar, because they're followers of Yahweh Shai. And we could see it by the way they, you know, the, the, they're breaking down the scriptures through the Raha Kwadash and that they're, you know, preaching the truth. Yeah, they got 100% truth, you know, the whole truth, you know, not no, you know, half truths and 80%, 100% truth, the truth of Yahweh by Shemi Shai, the whole word, the whole volume of the book, all right? You know, and these men, of course, watch and care for our souls, all right? And they lead us aright, okay? So, you know... If you, you know, got all these people that thinking that, oh, y'all just man pleasing and all this other stuff, that's all rubbish. And y'all gonna get destroyed anyway for that scoffing anyway. So I don't even care. You know, if you're a spiritual man, you'd be able to understand that you had to be led. You know, Yahweh Shem Shah set up what? He set us up what? Teachers that shall feed us with what? Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of his mind, of the mind of Yahweh Shem Shai. All right? And they, of course, gonna tend to the flock and they feed the sheep. All right? That's that's how things is, is being done properly in order, okay? Because there's order within the kingdom, right? And the kingdom, of course, it starts, of course, with us. The kingdom is within us, within us. So, you know, you have it where, you know, the, 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 you have it where, of course, the these would be the top men in the kingdom, all right? Being the disciples coming back in the, the, the apostles, disciples coming back in the regeneration, or re back in the flesh, a reincarnation. All right, these men are righteous men that walk with Yahweh Shai. We would say we also would be too as well, the prophets, okay? So it's a righteous thing, okay, of what we're doing, you know? And Yahweh Shem is seeing all of it. So and with that, you got any other scriptures? Uh, yeah, John. Yeah, keep going. This is, um, and we can read uh, Proverbs after that. This is John chapter 9, verse 31. It says, Now we know that the Most High heareth not sinners, but if any any man be a worshiper of the Most High and doeth his will, him he heareth. Con, so if the if if you're following the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the Most High is hearing your prayers. But if you're not, if you're committing iniquity, the Most High is not going to hear your prayers. All your prayers are for naught. You're praying for you know for no reason. You're wasting your time basically. That's right. Good. Con. Con. This is uh Proverbs, chapter twenty-eight, verse. Nine. It says, "He that turneth away his he, his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination." Kind, just like I was going into. If you are turning your ear from hearing the law, committing all types of iniquity, eating pork, cutting, you know, getting shape ups, all the committing adultery, you know what I'm saying? Just going going ham, you know what I'm saying? Just doing whatever you want. That 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 Babylon sipping on that Babylon juice, doing the do as thou wilt, you and that do as thou wilt spirit, your prayer is gonna be abomination into the to the most high. Every time you pray, the most high is gonna be upset. It's gonna be like, why is this dude even trying to talk to me? Like, who is this guy? <laughs> yeah, who is this guy? Like, y'all always said, say, when they say, Lord, Lord, he said, I, he said, I don't know you. Like, who, who is this guy? It's like when somebody that you don't like is speaking to you, like, why is this guy talking to me right now? Like, hey, like who is this guy? I don't want to hear from him. God. Yeah, that's it, you know? God. You gotta do the things which please inside of y'all, Bashim, y'all shy. All right? You know, that's how, of course, you know, you, you come to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Why would I want to, you know, if I'm the, the, you have it where Yahweh is, the, you know, of course, the most high, and Yahweh Shai is, is a son, only we got a son. I mean, if you had somebody who's supposed to be the children of the power, and of course, they're not listening to me, why would I want care about them, you know? At that, you know, like, like, you know, like, meaning like, you obviously have it where obviously we did go off as a nation, we were divorced, but you have it where, the Lord actually wants us to return to him actually deeply sorrowful, which is to repent, okay? Look back deeply sorrowful, all right? Acknowledge our sins and acknowledge our power, okay? You know, so that, you know, obviously, you know, we could be washed and made clean through this word, all right? And obviously obtain the kingdom, obtain immortality, all right? That's what we want, Okay? And that's why we begging. All right. Get that Revelation 8 real quick. This is um, Revelation. You want me to start too? Uh, yeah, you can. 
This is Revelation chapter 8 verse 2. It says, And I saw the seven angels which stood before the Most High, and to them were given seven trumpets. It says, And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense, that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the gold, golden altar which was before the throne. It says, And the smoke of incense which came with the prayers of the saints, of the saints ascended up before the most high out of the angel's hand yeah yeah so you know our our prayers are up there with them into the heavens all right you know and the angels have and they of course yahweh shai being a mediator between us and the most high and of course yahweh shai being the intercessor and of course gives of course our prayers to the most high yahweh all right and of course he grants what we want you know what what is desire it being his will all right you know um there's another scripture about uh like incense and prayers and stuff but uh i have to see maybe if i can find it and let me see maybe in the pro cross reference but you know uh, the lord is hearing our prayers you know it may not be in this one but uh and you know it's it's up there it's, i believe it's like sweet sweet you know it's pleasing unto the most high and such you know let me see if I can find it. But basically, if I can't even find it, you know, you get the point. Uh, this is uh, get get uh, Psalms. Dwadi habashim ashai bashim rechakodas kaya the barium for the word. Uh, Psalms one forty one and two. This is Psalms chapter one forty one verse two. It says, "Let my prayer be set forth before Thee as incense, in the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice." Actually, start at the word. Con. This is Psalms chapter 141 verse 1 It says a psalm of David Yahweh, I cry unto thee Make haste unto me Give ear unto my voice when I cry unto thee It says let my prayer be set forth Before thee as incense In the lifting up of my hands As the evening sacrifice yeah. you, know, so that, you know it's uh, you know, Something pleasing and smelling Because you know that we obviously burn incense In, the temp in our temples and such Alright Let that be a sweet for a sacra as a bach, all right, to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right. We want, of course, Yahweh Bashem Shai to hear us by we crying out to him, and that's what we're doing right now. All right, so basically, we done prove our point, you know. Um, you know, this is a very, uh, very, uh, perilous times we're in, and we're approaching, you know, the times of, you know, the stick of trouble being all hell break loose, and, you know, the Pesach, we're in the Feast of uh, Unleavened Bread currently. You know, honor and of course that, and uh, you know us, we're just obviously meditating on Yahweh Shem Shai and being delivered and just being right in the sight of Yahweh Shem Shai. With that, we're gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rachakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles that great millstone who well in peace and salutations to the election of Yahshua Allah of Israel. Shalom. Shalom.